Hi everybody, we got a great video for you today. Hope you stick around. Uh, today we're going to talk about saddle hunting. Talk about the advantages, the disadvantages of saddle hunting compared to using your traditional tree stand. We're going to get into the H2 saddle. Uh, we'll take some close-up looks at the construction of it, show you what advantages that saddle has over others, and we're also going to get into the functionality of it in use. So stay tuned. It's going to be a great video. So let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages of hunting on a saddle. The biggest advantage for hunting on a saddle is safety. When you're hunting in a saddle, you're always hunting on a tight rope. Uh, just by the fact that you're hunting off a tight rope, it eliminates that potential for a free fall. So, for example, in a regular tree stand, you're going to have your tree harness uh, connected to some kind of a uh, rope strap that goes around the tree. Um, if you fall in that, you could fall two, three, four feet before that rope gets tight and then you've got that impact of the shock of that rope grabbing you. Um, that can give you some pretty serious injuries. So in a saddle you're on a tight rope all the time so think of it as a saddle is preventing a fall where a tree harness um, is catching your fall and big difference between those two. So safety is a huge factor. So let's talk about a little bit about mobility. Um, huge advantage goes to the saddle versus the tree stand. Uh, just for the fact of one, weight. When I'm hunting out of a saddle, my saddle, this is the uh, Hot Shot by H2 Saddles. Um, that comes in at 22 ounces. Um, the Slingshot saddle from H2 is also 22 ounces. So they both come in right at the 22 ounce range. Very slightly depending on your size, but 22 ounces is your average size for those saddles, average weight for those saddles. You're also going to need two ropes, you're going to need a tether, and you're going to need a lime in rope to be able to climb with. Um, H2 ropes are come in at uh, 13 and a half ounces and that is with the carabiner. Um, so that is your complete rope with the Prusik and the carabiner um, attached to it. Um, these ropes come with a sewn eye on the end. Um, so two ropes, the saddle, total weight in that is going to be at uh, three pounds. So very lightweight system. Other advantage goes to you can climb almost any tree. So if you can get sticks on it, um, if you can get a rope around the tree, you can usually climb that tree. Um, if you're using a, uh, a climbing stand, for example, you're limited to those uh, straight poles or straight telephone pole type trees with no branches. Um, you can't go around branches with those. So another advantage goes to the saddle for um, ability to hunt any tree. Now, the beauty about hunting any tree, <clears throat> excuse me, is you can walk into the woods until you find hot sign. As soon as you find hot sign, you can look around and you can see a tree that you want to set up in and you're not limited to um, as many trees. There's still trees you can't climb, you know, depending on the size and so forth. Um, typically for me, I want to be able to reach around the tree. If I can reach around the tree and touch my, my fingertips, then I consider that a, a climbable tree um, or come close to touch my fingertips. <clears throat> um, so, um, huge advantage for, for climbing any tree. And the other advantage in that is um, people have always said your first sit's your best sit. So when you're mobile and you have the ability to go in the woods and climb any tree you want, um, you've got that advantage of having a first sit at that location um, as compared to a tree stand that you're permanently set up. Um, after you visit that a couple times, um, you're going to notice that deer are going to avoid that area. They know you're there. So. Um, you don't contaminate sites. You can you can jump around to different areas. Um, so again, mobility factor, huge advantage for a saddle. You can wear it in, um, wear it out. Um, next advantage you have is comfort. Um, 
I would say a tree saddle is comfortable than probably more I'm sorry more comfortable than probably 90% of the trees that are out there um, tree stands that are out there I should say. but the comfort of a saddle for an all-day sit it really is hard to beat uh, it is very very comfortable sitting uh, system to hunt out of um, think of it as hunting out of a, um, a hammock um, <clears throat> the other advantage for a saddle over a tree stand is um, the stability when you're shooting for me personally I am more accurate out of saddle than I was out of any any tree stand time for a little bit of education so you've got um, what most people refer to as molly um, attachments um, molly actually stands for modular lightweight load carrying equipment so molly is actually the any equipment or bags that attach to this um, the actual strapping that is used and the size of these um, was referred to as PAL which is called pouch attachment ladder PAL is what it stands for so ours are, are stitched to PAL standards um, so they will accept any molly component that you want to put on there getting into the use of the saddle um, before you use your saddle or any piece of equipment, make sure you inspect it. Uh, for a saddle, look for any pulls, um, tears, frays, any points that are wearing. Um, if there is questions, contact myself. Um, I'll be more than happy to help you, um, give you my thoughts on what you see. But um, always inspect your equipment. Climbing is inherently dangerous and ultimately you're responsible for your own safety so inspect the equipment before you use it um, when you start climbing um, before you start before you leave the ground you always want to connect to the tree maintain that connection of some type until you get back on the ground again so you're always connected to the tree with some point of connection you always want to maintain three points of contact with the tree whether that's two feet and an arm or two arms and one foot but always try to maintain three points of contract contact with that tree uh, you want to eliminate any slack lines so as you climb move the ropes up with you uh, slack line can be an enemy um, last you want to connect your connect your tether to the tree and connect that tether into your bridge before you step onto your platform um, I typically will put one foot on my platform, one on my stick. Um, I'll tie into my tether. At that point, I'll transfer all my weight to the platform. Just an added safety precaution to help distribute that weight. So if the event you have a failure with your platform, um, you're already connected at that point. Um, and then the last thing I want to say is before you remove your linesman's belt, you do want to sit down on that tether, actually transfer weight to that tether, um, and then pull your linesman's belt off. So I think um, keep, an, keep an eye out for future videos because um, we are going to start putting out some climbing videos and some advanced, advanced techniques on how to climb um, and how to use your saddle and how to hunt. hunt so. Um, Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something useful out of this. And keep the ropes tight.